The mafia is taking the lives of many people with ulterior motives. I witnessed life being under threat, and the agent protected them from catching the culprits. To capture them, he is about to use any means to eliminate them. At the start of the movie, there is a scene of gang members selling drugs illegally at the border with Mexico. At that point, a group of people in masks storms in and points guns at them. Someone in the gang tries to tell the people in masks that he and his friend are actually working for the D, but they don't believe him. The masked group kills everyone in the building except for two women who saw what happened and try to get away. People in masks are chasing them, but the sound of police sirens makes them run away. The story then moves to the United States, where an old detective named Johansson is getting ready for work while watching the news about a protest at the police station. Mexican immigrants are protesting because they are angry that a police officer beat up a Mexican driver badly. As soon as Johansson gets to work, police chief Hernandez greets him and shows him a video of him beating up the Mexican driver. People think this violence is rude. Johansson also said something bad about Mexicans, which makes things even worse for him. Johansson could lose his job and pension, and he could also get in trouble with the law for what he did. Hernandez gives him a special job to do to make up for it. He has to find two women who saw the agents being killed in Mexico. These women are now locked up in Mexico. That's when Johansson has no choice but to take on the job. He goes to a pub with Hiltz and Brinner, another retired police officer, in the evening. At that point, Johansson says he is fed up with Mexicans breaking the law to come to the United States and getting free stuff. Hiltz and Brinner tell Johansson that he should retire and not go to Mexico, but Johansson still decides to go. A Mexican man accidentally hits Johansson's car as he is leaving the bar. This makes him mad, but he manages to stay calm this time. Jack Johansson is going to Mexico the next day. He has to give up his gun when he gets to the police station, where a Mexican officer named De La Cruz greets him. After that, De La Cruz takes Johansson to get the two witnesses out of jail. After three hours, Letitia and Rosa get to the prison for women. These two prisoners are given to Johansson. Letitia is scared because someone tried to kill them before, but Johansson doesn't think much of it. A police car starts to follow them as they drive. Cruz won't stop because he thinks the police are after him. Suddenly, one of the police officers shoots, making a lot of noise. The two strange cops are taken out by Johansson, but he is shot while doing it. He calls Hernandez right away to let him know what's going on and finds out that Hernandez is hurt. Cruz and Letitia both don't make it, which is sad. Rosa begs Johansson for help at that point, but at first she wants to leave him. Rosa finally decides to help Johansson when she sees that he is getting weaker. Rosa grabs Johansson's phone when it rings because she thinks it might tell their enemies where they are. Johansson passes out in the middle of all the chaos. He wakes up in treatment the next day with his hands tied to the bed. Later, Rosa comes in with her Mexican police officer brother Miguel. The two cops who attacked them were real, she says, but in Mexico, a badge doesn't show which side someone is on. At the same time, Brenner meets Hiltz at the police station after hearing that Johansson hot Mexican police and then ran away with a witness. Later, Brenner tells Hernandez in his room that he wants to help find Johansson even though he is no longer working. Hernandez politely turns down Brenner's offer because he is friends with Johansson. Rosa tells Johansson that the person who killed the D-agent was an American police officer while they are in Mexico. One of the men in masks told her that he was working with the D-agent that they attacked. This is why the agent knew who one of the men in the mask was. She asks to make a call because Rosa and her family might be in danger when she hears this. The longer they wait, the more protection Johansson will give Rosa if she tells what she knows. Soon after, Rosa gives him her phone, and he calls Hernandez right away for help. When Hernandez hears that the D-agent was shot, he agrees to meet Johansson and Rosa at the American consulate. During their talk, Miguel jumps in to take Rosa and Johansson to lunch. He thanks Johansson for protecting Rosa from two dishonest cops who were hired by the cartel to kill them. Miguel says he had to handcuff Johansson for their safety because Johansson was suspected of killing a federal police officer and two Mexican cops. This makes Johansson angry. Miguel had to call his brother Salvador to handcuff Johansson again, even though Johansson said he was only there to protect Rose. Miguel says no when Rosa begs him to let her go to America with Johansson after dinner. They hear their dog barking, and Miguel looks out and sees armed men surrounding their house, demanding that Rosa and Johansson be turned over. Miguel tells Rosa to keep their mum safe while he and Salvador fight the bad guys. During the chaos, Miguel gives Salvador the key to the handcuffs so that Johansson can be freed. Sad to say, Salvador is shot as soon as he walks into the room. Johansson is able to take down the person who attacked Salvador while one hand is still cuffed. 
As soon as that happens, Johansson quickly unlocks the chains and saves Miguel just in time. He also moves quickly to protect Rosa and her mother from a man who wants to hurt them. He tried to catch another man who was running away after the attack, but failed. Miguel finally lets Johansson and Rosa leave. For their trip, Rosa's mother gives her a lot of money. Before they leave, she gives Johansson a necklace that says in Spanish that he needs to fight like a wolf to beat a wolf. Rosa yells at Johansson that every time he calls Hernandez, someone tries to kill them, so he doesn't want to call him again. She tells them to call someone they can trust to pick them up at the border. Rosa gets someone to sneak them across the border the next night, and she gives him a lot of money from her mom to pay him well. That night, Johansson and Rosa stay at a hotel, and Johansson calls Brinner, the only friend he trusts. When Johansson and Rosa wake up the next morning, there is a knock on the door. It was Hiltz who found them quickly since there were only three hotels nearby. He's coming with Brinner and another friend. Before they wait for the smuggler, Hiltz tells them that the police and FBI are going to show up that day and suggests that they go with them. He agrees because they are good friends. Soon after, they all leave in different cars. Hiltz drives his own car, while Johansson and Rosa ride with their friends Tanelli and Brenner. Brenner goes a different way because he says he knows people who can help them safely cross the border. Rosa notices along the way that Brenner is wearing a bracelet that looks exactly like the one that the man in the mask was wearing during the incident. Rosa tells Johansson in a whisper that their friends might not be reliable because she remembers what her mother said. They know Hiltz isn't by himself because Leo, another friend, is in his car with him. It makes Johansson nervous, so he tells Brenner to stop so they can talk outside. Johansson says the person who killed the D-agent could be a cop. He acts like he wants to ask Brenner who he thinks did it. Tinelli and Hiltz walk up behind Brenner and Tinelli. They pull out their guns and make Johansson give up his gun. Hiltz says that they didn't know about the D and only want the money and to fight the Mexican drug cartel. Hiltz even tries to keep Johansson from going to Mexico that night so that he doesn't get into trouble. Then Brenner tells Tanelli to get Rosa, but Hiltz doesn't agree with putting their own friends in danger. He reaches for the gun, which makes Brenner shoot by accident. Because of this, Johansson can fight back, and he beats Tanelli, Brenner, and Leo. Soon after, Johansson goes up to Hiltz, who is badly hurt and sadly doesn't make it. After this, Johansson and Rosa choose to go back to the city and follow through with their plan with the drug cops. That night, they cross the border with other people who are also looking for safety. They still have to walk a few kilometers the next day before they reach American soil. At this point, Johansson's feelings about Mexican immigrants change. He knows they're not just looking for free stuff when they risk a lot to come to America for a better life. However, American police show up and arrest them just as they are getting excited. After a month, Hernandez praises Johansson for his surprising success in exposing bad cops and making the police department better. Later, Rosa tells Johansson that the prosecutor has offered her citizenship as an American. She looks very nice. Johansson is happy for her, but he also knows that they won't be together for much longer. At the end, Johansson asks Rosa to go on a date because he knows it could be their last chance. If you like this movie then don't forget to subscribe this channel.